Developing interactive camera-based programs using today's IDEs faces several distinctive challenges. The data is inherently visual. The input is continuous and non-reproducible. And the development process is iterative. Deja Vu is an enhanced development environment to facilitate the generic workflow for developing and tuning interactive camera-based programs. Built as an extension to the Sharp Develop IDE, the Deja Vu prototype includes two main interface components. A canvas to continuously monitor the program data, and a timeline to record, review, and reprocess them. We now build a simple application using Deja Vu to demonstrate its functionalities. The application is called Kinect Dress. It is a virtual dressing room using a Kinect camera. The user walks up to the camera and sees himself on the virtual stage wearing a virtual suit. The suit follows the user when he walks around, and the user can swipe his hand to change suit. Just like in any interactive camera-based program, our program is based on a loop architecture where the camera keeps capturing frames and the program processes the input frame by frame. The first step is to show a virtual stage when I walk close enough to the camera. We have written some code to do this. But how close is close enough? We need to fine-tune the threshold for my distance to the camera. To do so, I want to monitor both the image of myself and the numerical distance when I run the program. I simply tick the color input checkbox and the display shows in the canvas. In my code, there is a variable called user distance, and I calculate it by averaging the depth of all my body joints. I drag this variable into my canvas too. I select live input and click play to run my program. As I walk in, the canvas continuously shows me the data values I'm interested in. At the same time, the same data are shown in the timeline. The timeline records all the input from the camera and the intermediate variables shown on the canvas, as well as the graphical output in the window. As I stop playing, a new recorded session is added. I can then replay the session at various speeds. Or directly navigate to a certain frame and see the data values on the canvas. Moreover, I can tweak my code and see how it affects my program result using exactly the same input I just recorded. For example, I adjust the distance threshold and click Refresh, and the session is automatically updated. I now see in the timeline that the moments virtue stage shows and disappears have changed. We can now easily find the threshold that works best without standing up and trying again and again and again. Now I need to extract my own body from the environment and paste it onto the stage. The algorithm here is a little complicated, so I want to draw a sketch on the canvas to help me think it through as I'm writing the code. So, I wanted to threshold my depth input to get a binary image of a body, then use it as a mask to segment my color image, etc. etc. Unlike sketch on paper, here I can combine what I draw with data displays, and my sketch becomes live when I play my program. My binary mask looks a bit too fat, so maybe I should apply an erosion operation to make it thinner. Notice here, I drag the same image variable into the canvas twice, but from different positions in the code. The canvas understands this and shows its values from different stages of my algorithm, both before and after the erosion happens. Finally, I need to recognize swipe gestures to change suits. I have two simple ideas how this may be done, one based on the change of spatial position of my hand, the other one based on the change of the angle of my elbow. I'm not sure which one will actually work better, so actually I implement both to compare their performance. So here I add several things into my canvas to monitor my hand's horizontal position for the first algorithm, the angle of my elbow for the second algorithm, as well as the recognition results for each algorithm. I run my program with live camera input and try each gesture many times to see how well my algorithm works in various cases. 
now that I have many samples recorded, I can look at the timeline for an overview of how well each algorithm worked compared to each other, and easily identify cases where one gave correct result, but the other one didn't, and figure out why. Finally, I invite other people to record more sessions to make sure my program can accommodate various users. In summary, Deja Vu provides enhanced, integrated support that tightly matches the distinctive nature and workflow of developing interactive camera-based programs.